right, my friends, welcome back. Quick video, take a look at what's expected underneath South Florida within one week from today. A large hurricane can possibly form within the next five to seven days. Of course, that does leave room for this to change. But as of right now, if you live in the state of Florida, it's time to get prepared for a possible hurricane. Not only that, take a look at this low pressure system up in the Northeast that is literally following the same exact path and movements as Hurricane or Superstorm Sandy back in 2012. This is obviously much weaker than that as of right now. So again, still more time for change, but how crazy is this that both of these forecasts were released today? We are about to be in the heart of hurricane season and I'm telling you right now, my friends, Hurricane Barrel is gonna be the least of our worries. As far as the Florida a storm that we are expecting we could see that bubbling right out here in the Atlantic Ocean so over the next five days we're gonna see this thing traveling towards the leeward and lesser Antilles islands just like we saw hurricane barrel except this is gonna go over and above them it could make some early contact with these islands and Puerto Rico early next week but then as the week goes on into next weekend that is when we really need to start paying attention once we start seeing the rotation of this storm and it gets to these islands here if it has that formation this thing will be all over the news now here is that cone of uncertainty certainty 30% chance as of right now in the next seven days that brings us to next Saturday and as we showed you that is bringing it right to basically Miami or the Keys of Florida right just north of Cuba now here's where things get interesting with this storm now once we get to the point where it's under Florida if it does follow this path we still have room for this to change I'm giving you the current data right now but as of now it's showing it staying in these warm waters with the only interaction possibly being part of the Keys which will not slow this storm down and then take a look at what it does it goes up the west coast of Florida, possibly touching areas like Naples, maybe a little closer to Tampa and Clearwater as it moves into the Gulf of Florida, and then straight up into Georgia, eventually branching off up into the Northeast as we saw Barrel do. So anytime we get something like this, we want to get eyes on the screens. We want people to be aware that this is in the forecast, whether it takes place this way or not. Anytime we have a storm coming towards the Gulf, every single Gulf state should be on alert for this. And finally, as far as our Northeast storm goes we could see it gets to about a pressure of 10,008 maybe dropping below that 1,000 mark at some point so a lot weaker than what we saw with Superstorm Sandy or Hurricane Sandy I just found it very interesting that the forecast showed this thing making that western hook which earlier showed a landfall near Long Island in Jersey but now shifting a little bit more towards the north more than likely not much to worry about with this storm all right everybody that is the update for these two storm situations I will update every day every few hours on what they do and we we'll see what the rest of this hurricane season has in store. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. Talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye-bye. Stop right there, my friends. If you have not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Click all and you will get all notifications from this channel. And trust me, you won't be disappointed.